Hello, welcome to the stream. This one's going to be really short. I just wanted to let everybody know I did find something to get the .dds files. Um, it's a little bit more clunky than what I would like, but at least I get the files that I need. Um, I'm using uh, Ninja Ripper. I went ahead and paid their Patreon of $5 and got Ninja Ripper uh, 2.0.3 and it works um, for both getting the textures as well as the, the models. Um, they are a little bit skewed, but it works. Um, I set the field of view to 35 in it and uh, in the importer for Blender for the models. I'll go over that in a minute. Um, and so here I'll go ahead and just start up, for example, for a new game and take a clip of such a soundtrack type natural. Um, so as you can see in the top left it says that to press print screen or insert print screen is all you really need to do. I'm going to wait for uh, the scene to show all of the characters as well because it only shows you what's on the screen at that time. So right now it wouldn't show Kamari, now it would. Um, so you have to have a nice zoomed out shot of everything in order to get all of like the uh, weapons as well as the people. the screen for a moment when, as it's gathering all of the information. does work but the models are like if you import it into blender all of the models are sized up and down and just all all over the place and uh, but you do at least get all of the textures so that's the important part so you can go to their website and get the free one and, and do that I'll exit that um, all you do is search for um, your .exe of whatever you can actually use it on any game um, that has DirectX like 7 through 11 I think they they support and anyway you navigate to your version that you, what game you want want to rip from and then you hit launch and then when you're done and you've hit print screen or insert you go and hit open rip direct directory this will come up. It'll have a date associated with it. So this is the newest one. And each time that you load up the game with this, it will create a new folder, set of folders. And this is the one you want. And then it'll have a frame. Because you can go ahead and screenshot as many times as you want and it'll go ahead and say 0, 1, 2 and so on so we've got this here it pulls up all of it in a dot nr ninja rip and then all of the images as dot dds um, I went ahead and went to nvidia nvidia.com and got a um, file viewer a thumbnail viewer to allow me to look at all of the different um, .dds files without having to actually open it and wonder which one is which. So works out pretty well. Um, so as you can see, I got all the characters 
right here. And so now I'll go ahead. Um, the version, the only version that I was able to get it to work with was version 2.8. Um, so you have to go to the Blender director, uh, the Blender download directory for archives, and you'll go ahead and get 2.8. I'll just delete all the standard stuff. Blank file, blank Blender template. Here we go. And you'll import the um, the Ninja Rip in, importer, and then use it. I go in there. I set the field of view to 35, because otherwise it seems like it gets skewed uh, too much. I'm not sure the exact field of view, because it is a little bit um, warped, but not too badly. And then you have to put in the screen resolution that you were using. So 1920 by 1080 is what I was using. And then you can set your field of view to uh, just leave that alone and change your field of view when you get into and um, this will automatically, well, just hit A and then it'll go ahead and import everything when you hit enter. So enter, and here we are. So if I zoom out and look around, it's kind of off to the side. If you go press 3, go in the side view, and A, select everything, rotate it by 90 degrees. And you're going to have this kind of issue. This is a, um, these objects are too far away. So uh, they're clipping out. So I'll set this to added extra two zeros. And it'll have all of everything visible. All of the characters. I believe this is where the camera is. This um, thing. So... And, oh, and then it is also flipped, as it looks like, because Titus is walking on the opposite side, so everything's flipped. So, A, tools, and then we'll scale um, negative one. Negative one. Hmm. Oh well. I'm just gonna move along. For now, I'll figure out something later. But you got everything in here, and the important, other important thing is look dev, and you get all your textures already on everything. So if you wanted to make a nice little image, a nice render, you can. It's pretty great. I'm going to be using it to, um, let's say, for example, get this object and... We'll just delete the skybox there. So, for example, like this object here. If I want to grab it, Orient it in a nice way that's like straight up and down. I'm not going to get perfect right now. It's just an example. Wireframe, center it, and then 
straight and down. Rotate that there. And then as I'm looking at the um, as I'm looking at this, I can go ahead and build a higher resolution, uh, higher detailed mesh that incorporates all of the detail that's inside the texture. And instead of using bump maps, I'm just going to use a texture that's applied to the mesh and uh, nanite. So it's going to be a high detailed mesh using nanite all over the place. This nanite seems like it's been working perfectly fine. Anyway, that was that. I finally got the textures. I'm happy. Um, if anybody can help me out with the textures the other way to get an entire uh, directory of of the textures, like with um, like to where you just navigate in to here. Map. And then, like this one, for example, is one I'm trying to get all of them up. So, if you can convert all of these to .dds's properly, that'd be great. Uh, just shoot me a um, comment. And that's it. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. In case I don't see you.